Meanwhile, Mississippi lawmakers discussing the future of education and how things can change in the near future. Today they spoke with teachers and superintendents about what could take place during the legislative session. Fox 23's Corey Howard has the full details. Four lawmakers traveled from the Capitol to William Carey University to hear the concerns of teachers and superintendents in the local area. Public education again, keep part of their salary to stay retired. What, what is that? Uh, what's the word on that? Lawmakers took questions from the audience during the forum, explaining to educators what might happen during this year's legislative session. Well, the things that, that, that I'd love to see the most that could affect and improve education in Mississippi, unfortunately, did not make it through the legislature yet. Those bills include raises for schools and reducing the number of standardized tests. The thing is, we, we need to eliminate a lot of our testing that we're doing now, okay, we're just we're over testing. And teachers that are focused so much on testing that they don't have a chance to actually teach to get the student to the goal. When, when all we do in public schools is, is test, the students don't learn. What they have a chance to do is to memorize and regurgitate. However, the biggest issue surrounding education in Mississippi seems to be focused on funding and whether the current formula provides schools with enough money. Whether it is, whether the MAEP, the formula that funds our schools, is fully funded so every school can have the resources it needs to educate, or whether they'll be underfunded uh, like last year, or they'll be funded less. The one thing we've got to remember is change is slow, especially in the Mississippi legislature. A process that could take four to five years, and with this year being an election year, the process could be delayed an additional year. It's, it's sad that this year uh, in the legislature, there's no, nobody wants to rock the boat. And the reality is we ought to be rocking the boat every single year. Corey Howard, Fox 23 News. Despite the stagnant atmosphere surrounding education in this year's legislative session, some po politicians still believe that lawmakers will find a way to pass teacher pay raises before the session is over. Recommendations issued by Governor Phil Bryant back in November.